about what we'll do is, no matter how many times you do this, you get super excited every single time. My heart races when we start hearing them and they come in, it's really cool. But the other part of what we're gonna do tonight is very uncontrolled. Obviously, I can't tell the owls to come out on cue or hoot back or anything, so I'm just crossing my fingers that they are gonna talk to us tonight. Um, Audubon Owls is the app that I'm gonna use tonight. Y'all can get that, put it on your phone, do everything we're gonna do together. These speakers are about 40 or 50 bucks and you get it and use it for years. The most expensive thing that we're gonna use tonight is this guy. This is like a military grade flashlight. And the cool thing is it's got this red light on it that I can put right on the owl and it won't damage its eyes. It won't bother it. Without the film, this is a really bright white light and it'll kind of bother the owl. So this is a really nice thing, you know, me and animals, I'm just looking out for them. So the red is a really nice thing. This flashlight's a couple hundred bucks if we wanted to get one of these guys. They're likely to hear and see. And the order with which we're gonna call these guys is really important. We're gonna start with an Eastern Screech Owl. Now these little guys, and, and I mean little, um, these guys can fit inside of this mug. I mean, that's it, they're tiny. They're the second smallest owl that we've got in this part of the country. The smallest is called a solwet owl that sometimes comes down from the north. And you'll see solwets are a little bit smaller. And these guys are tiny. And these little guys, you'll notice the yellow eyes and the little tufts of feathers you kind of see there on their head. Kind of helps them blend in with their surroundings. They're not ears at all. They're just tufts that blend in with the bark of the tree. Now, when we get up, when we get out in the woods, we'll play this guy first because <laughs> The next owl that I'm going to show you can feed on this guy, preys on it. So you don't want to play the biggest owl first. The other owls aren't going to open their mouth. So it's just kind of a fun thing to think about. Listen to the Eastern Screech Owl with me. Let's play it. Just the cutest thing. The old barred owl. This is the one that Sheridan saw out in the, in the field there. And notice it's barred, B-A-R-R-E-D, because of the bars up and down their chest. Let me play it for you and let you hear the call of the barred owl. And what's so neat about this, I want you to listen to this first call. Listen for a second. Who cooks for you? Who cooks for you all? Now, did you listen to it one more time? Did you notice that this one doesn't have a very strong y'all? Y'all. Who cooks for you? Who cooks for y'all? You hear that? That's a male. Male barred owls don't have a very strong southern draw. <laughs> but I want you to listen to this. <laughs> that's a female, right? So if you hear that tonight, that's the lady talking. That's the girl, all right? So that's, and it's kind of neat. To, so when you hear that out in the wild, you know if it's a boy or a girl. Really kind of like sound. And if you do this with me for a second, just cup your hands around your ears like this, real tight, you know? And just whisper to yourself. Isn't that the wildest thing? Everything is so sensitive, you know? It's really neat. So that's that's one of the ways that they hear. Now, they do have ears, but they don't have ear lobes and things and they're sticking out part like this. They have a hole in the side of their head on each side, but it's not symmetrical, it's asymmetrical. So one is higher than the other. Volunteer, you want I'll to be a volunteer, okay, I'll sweet. be the volunteer. Um, so kind of owls, because they have that, they, they're they trying to triangulate where the sound is. So if you face that way, okay. um, and then just kind of stand straight, like spread your shoulders, stand straight. Humans aren't very good at that because our ears, ears are symmetrical, like you said. So I'm going to clap, and then you're going to put your hand at like where you think I clap at. So if it's up high, you're going to like put it where you think it's at. So no you, laughing. <laughs> humans aren't super great at that. Some people are better than others. I found like little kids sometimes they can like rock it. So so where I think it yeah, where I would, you think? I would say like in this range. Okay, let's see. You want to turn this way, and we'll like go this way. Turn which one? Like this face way? that way. Yeah. Okay. So. I think it's in here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now if you try like the cupping your ears, try cupping them backwards and then tilt your head a little bit. 
I like, ooh, that's a different. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, now tilt right, my head. Yeah, all right, now try it. So it was like right here. It's a little longer. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it was? Yeah, it was. But a that's a totally long. different. You should <laughs> yeah. try that. That's a totally okay, different. Ready? <laughs> okay, so you're you're down. I mean, I don't know. Yeah, it was down. It was further down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's cool. Yeah, that's that's one of my favorite ones to work with ever. Really intimidating looking. Great horned owl. Probably got his name because of the look of the horns above his head. They're not horns, just tufts of feathers. He uses to blend in with his surroundings. Look at the eyes on this guy. There's big yellow eyes, tiger of the sky, they call this. If the barred owl is a neighborly owl, this guy is the tiger of the sky. It's really kind of neat. The grip on those guys. Pounds of pressure per square inch, all right? It's like a really strong guy might be 120 pounds of pressure per square inch. Really, really bearing down with his fist. Any idea how many pounds of pressure per square inch these guys can exert? If it's like 120 for a really strong guy, what's this guy doing? 200. That's a good guy. That's a good, that's good. I like the range here. That's just good. <laughs> 250? Bald Eagle could do 1,000. Mm. That, that's Sheesh. it. Bald Eagle could do 1,000. 500 on these guys. Uh -huh. 500 pounds of pressure per square inch if they bear down. So when I'd have them on a glove, if they wanted to go through the glove, they very easily could. The great horn, one of my favorites. Now, Bard Alf said what now? Remember what it said? Who cooks for you, who cooks for you all, and the ladies you all way down low. Eastern Screech Owl was the horse winning. This guy sounds like he's saying, I'll turn the volume back up. I'll make sure that this thing is still on. Yeah, it's up as high as I This guy sounds like he's saying, who's awake? Me too. Listen to this. Now, if I remember right, I think this fella on this one has a little bit of a stutter. So just bear with us on this, all right? Who's awake? Me, 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 too. too. Yeah, like that. Who's awake? Me, too. There's some cat and a geese in there, too. The deeper call, that's the female. The higher call, that's the male. In There's two. There's the one that we've been following this entire time. 
And there's another one somewhere. Look away, I'm gonna lose that one. 